<laughs> no, but you're talking about art. <laughs> no, art is about happiness. Okay. Hi there. Um, with me today is artist and founder of Portrait Society, Veronica Kavetskaya Spiegelin. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much, Glenn. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Well, thank but you. What a I'm great very name. Proud. Tricky, though. Tricky, okay, though. sure. <laughs> so you're following in the masters of like Michelangelo and Da Vinci. What made you get started in that? Like, how did you get started in something like that? Uh, I'm a professional artist for over 25 years, and I'm in love with portraiture. Mm -hmm. I believe that the portraiture is the most challenging and exciting art form that, it, that based on the heart training, unconditional love, and the true dedication of what you're doing. I remember myself being a teenager. I was standing in front of the Rubens painting. And for me, it was a big secret why a portrait look a kind of very real and it, it, it's a, a radiant a kind of vibration and I decide to discover this for myself and that's why because I'm always been interested in the old master's technique right yeah. now where, where did you study because I you've been all over the place yes yeah, right? so I, I used to live in the four countries and I'm, I'm almost 17 years in Canada but I've got my base training uh, back in Moscow in the art academy and as well as I have um, um, degree in art history from Moscow State University. Wow. So, so, like, yeah, so and I'm, I'm continuing, you know, my, my studying. So it's 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 a never ending process. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it is. Now, tell us a little bit about the Portrait Society because that's you, you're the president and founder of the Portrait Society. Yes, about a, ten years ago, I've got an idea um, to found the group of like minded people, professional artists who are in love with portraiture as well. And uh, I started the society with 10 members. Now we have 150 members across Canada. Oh, that's good. They're all professional artists from all different provinces. And we're representing all different styles of portraiture, from a very classical um, fine art portraiture to, to abstract, to, um, to primitivism, to, to pop art. So we, we basically opened the door for all artists who love portraiture art. So now the, it's, it's, your, it's a person, it's the figure of a person, similar to what we have here. Now explain, this is... This yeah, this is, is one, of my, yeah, one of my work, and it's, um, see, it has a little bit reflection because of the varnish in there. It's uh, basically, it, it's called it Old Master's Technique. Okay. And it's been known, it's yeah, it's been known for 600 years. Right. And for the last, I would say, for the last 100 years, um, it's, it wasn't very popular, especially in, in Canada. Well, of course, because it has that sort of, it's an old world look, right? So this is yes. a gentleman, I guess you painted, that's actually alive today. Yeah, it's a, li yeah, it's a life model. Actually, yeah. it's my son. Ah, And handsome. he's an he's a <laughs> opera singer. Yes, and I, I love I'd love to show the, the beauty in portrait. This is my major intention. I, I need to show the essential of the, of the person, as well as... Uh, beauty and subject and idea in the painting. Because in, in Canada for the last decade, uh, what I've noticed, we have a revival of the classical, of the classical tradition of portraiture. From the non-subject and conceptual style, people are looking for more, more representation in painting, more human subject, more interest. And even with the Portrait Society, I've made a I call it marketing research. Right. And I ask about a 300 people what kind of exhibition they would prefer, abstract or portraiture. And believe it or not, about a 95% said it's portraiture, more interesting. So they want a real depiction of themselves. Yes, they, they'd like to, to see more human subject. Okay. As I remember such a, good, uh, such a good quote from Leonardo da Vinci, a good painter has two main objects to paint, man and the intention of his soul. That's interesting because the I, I had a painting not done of me. It was like a really quick kind of thing, uh, but they really were trying to um, capture the soul. And I always wondered what that was, but I guess it's the it's, it's it's you, could see, you could feel that you could feel the personality yes, yeah. in you, the you, painting. Yeah. You have to represent who is this man or woman and what is he thinking about, what is his character, mm -hmm. what is this kind of a whole um, uh, style of life and idea, the the mind and the you know, all these interesting features. We call it essentials. 
Now, how long would it take for you to actually do something um, like that? This portrait uh, took me about a six months to do it. Wow, and that's the, but you have to come and go back. Yeah, right? come and go right. back. This right. is kind of a big trick about the old master's technique because it's you're applying like lasagna. It's like layers, <laughs> layers. You're you're applying a lot to dry, applying a lot to dry. And actually, this particular portrait is flying to to United Kingdom. Uh, next week, uh, it's been um, accepted to the uh, BP Award um, BP Award competition. It's very, wow. uh, Congratulations. very prestigious. Thank you very much. Congratulations. So, if I'm going to get to the final, so it will be shown in the National Gallery in, in London. In fact, some of, some of your work you've done some for honorary Canadians, right? You've done some work. For yes. Some so I, I love to work with people, and I'm always constantly staring at people, and I'm fascinated with the, the very bright personalities. Um, here, I have some people kind of from my from my neighborhood I would say but they're celebrities they big true celebrities it's right. like Tom Diamond uh, like um, um, Sasha Mehmedovic for instance Tom Diamond he's a it's a very big name in the opera world right and you did Misha Bruger and I did yes, Misha Bruger Gossman, Bruger Gossman during the yes. the very nice series of star portraits yeah she's fascinating too she's yeah she's very cool and it was kind of a surprise portrait in the show now, one of the things you're doing, um, there's an exhibition from March 1st to the 25th, and you're doing it uh, based on the it's, art of Canadian music. Yeah, it's right? actually, the, it's, it's, it's opening tonight. Oh, it's opening and tonight. And okay. it runs until uh, April 1st. Uh, and, and where is that happening? Uh, it's going to happen in downtown, um, in downtown Toronto. It's a Bay 900 at John B. Aird Gallery. Yeah. Right. And it's, it's focusing on music. It's, it's very, actually a very interesting subject. About a year ago, I have got a brilliant idea uh, to set up an exhibition that will present a connection between visual art and music. And honestly, I believe that music is one of the art forms that has so much in common with visual art. Amazing, amazing. Well, we're running out of time. We could talk about this for hours. But for more information, please go to portraitcanada.com or portraitsociety.ca. When we come back, Planet Traveler.